sound parameters of sound you have understood that in each and every sound that is made something has to vibrate to make that sound so understanding vibrations is very important to understand sound let us take a look at a vibration carefully objects like swings and pendulums vibrate it's quite easy to make a pendulum all you need is a piece of string and a weight to tie around one end the weight can be anything even a rock if you have a yo-yo at home you can even use that and quickly make a pendulum all you have to do is find a place where we can tie the yo-yo to make sure there is a bit of room around so you can move the yo-yo without it banging into anything let's just make sure it is fastened and there we have a pendulum we can use for our experiments when the pendulum is still it hangs down absolutely straight we can set it in motion by pulling it a little to one side and then letting go let us see what happens when we do that do you remember what this motion is called it is called vibration the pendulum is swinging back and forth quite fast one complete swing from one side to the other and back again is called an oscillation let's stop the pendulum and then move it really slowly so we understand what an oscillation is i'm going to hold the weight now and move it really slowly so you can see the movement it starts from the center position then goes back to one side and then comes back to the center goes to the other side and then back to the center and the same thing keeps repeating over and over and over one complete swing can be from one side to the other side and back let's do one complete swing we will start at one end go through the center all the way up to the other end and come back through the center to the place where we started this is one swing here i will do it again so you can see it once more we will start at one side move through the center all the way up to the other side and then back again through the center to the side that we started from this is one complete swing back and forth one complete swing is called an oscillation that is another special word that you have to remember so the back and forth motion on a fixed path is called vibration one complete swing of a vibration is called an oscillation to measure an oscillation we start from one end go all the way up to the other and back again one complete swing in a vibration is called an oscillation the time taken for one oscillation is known as the period of oscillation of the pendulum the period of oscillation is measured in seconds we can even find how many oscillations are completed by a pendulum in one second this may not always be a whole number in fact many times it will be a fraction but that's okay from this number we know how many oscillations are being completed in one second oscillations per second are also known as frequency it is written using the small letter n oscillations per second are also known as hertz hertz is written as a capital h followed by a small z hz is the short form for hertz let us observe an oscillation of a pendulum again in slow motion 
I'm going to move it really slowly with my hand so that you can see the points at which it is the farthest from the center. There are two points, one on this side and one on the other side, where the pendulum is the farthest from its center position. This distance from the farthest point to the center is called the amplitude of the oscillation. An object that is vibrating always vibrates between the two farthest points of vibrations, which are also called the limits of amplitude. The maximum distance from the center that an object travels during vibration is called its amplitude. As it is a distance, it is measured in meters or centimeters. Amplitude and frequency are two important properties of sound. The amplitude tells us the volume. The volume changes as the square of amplitude. So when the amplitude doubles, the volume increases four times. When the amplitude triples, the volume increases nine times. Now, do you know what you are doing to the vibrations when you turn up the volume on the stereo? The loudness is measured in decibels. The unit is written as dB. Sounds above 80 dB are not good for our ears. Here is a list of various sounds and how loud they are. Normal breathing, 10 dB. Soft whisper, 30 dB. Normal conversation, 60 dB. Busy traffic, 70 dB. Average factory, 80 dB. What does frequency tell us? The pitch of the sound. When the frequency is high, the sound is shrill. A whistle gives a high frequency sound. The sound of a drum has a low frequency. Don't mix up frequency with volume. A lion has a loud low frequency roar and a bird's chirp is high frequency but nowhere as loud as a lion's roar. A woman's voice is usually at a higher frequency than a man's voice. When something vibrates, a sound is created. But do you know that we cannot hear all sounds? It's just like we cannot see all the things around us. Germs, bacteria, viruses, protozoas are too small for our eyes to see. Similarly, some frequencies of sound are too low or too high for our ears to pick up. If a sound has a frequency of less than 20 Hz, we cannot hear the sound that is created. Also, if the frequency of sound is more than 20,000 Hz, we cannot hear it either. So, 20 Hz to 20,000 Hz is the range of sound that the human ear can hear. And remember, this is the range for the human ear. Many animals have a range that is larger than ours. So they can hear sounds that humans cannot. The sounds that we can hear are the sounds that have frequency more than 20 Hz and less than 20,000 Hz. This is called the audible range. Audible means something that can be heard. So the audible range of sound is between 20 Hz and 20,000 Hz. If the sound frequency is less than 20 Hz, we cannot hear it. Sounds that have frequency less than 20 Hz are therefore called inaudible sounds. Inaudible sound is a sound that we cannot hear. Sounds of frequency less than 20 Hz are also called infrasound. Earthquakes, volcanoes, tornadoes and other natural happenings send off infrasound waves. Many animals can hear infrasound and that is why many animals flee the area before the actual disaster strikes. If the sound frequency is more than 20,000 Hz, we cannot hear it. Sounds that have frequency more than 20,000 Hz are therefore called inaudible sounds. 
inaudible sound is a sound that we cannot hear. Sounds with frequency more than 20,000 Hz are also called ultrasound. Dogs can hear sounds that have frequency more than 20,000 Hz. In fact, we even have dog whistles which give out a sound more than 20,000 Hz. Dogs can hear this sound, but humans cannot. So it is like a silent whistle for humans, but a sound that dogs can hear. Even bats can hear ultrasound. In fact, they produce ultrasounds when they travel in the dark. These sounds bump into objects and bounce around. From that, they can guess where things are so that they don't bump into objects even in the dark. So the bat's ears help it move around in the dark, not its eyes. Our submarines use this same technology to figure out where they are going because there is no light in the deep ocean. Ships use ultrasound to make maps of the ocean floors, of trenches and hills in the ocean. Ultrasound is used by doctors to take a look at babies before they are born, while they are still in the mother's womb. They can find out whether the baby is growing properly as they can actually see the baby on their computer screen. Let's solve a numerical. Before that, let's take a look at the formulae. Frequency is equal to number of oscillations divided by total time. Time period is equal to 1 upon frequency. Let's move to the numerical. A pendulum oscillates 40 times in 4 seconds. Find its time period and frequency. Let's find the frequency first. Frequency is equal to number of oscillations divided by total time. Therefore, frequency is equal to 40 upon 4 which is equal to 10 Hz. Now let's find the time period. Time period is equal to 1 upon frequency, which is equal to 1 upon 10, which is equal to 0 0.1 seconds. So, the frequency of the pendulum is 10 Hz and the time period is 0 0.1 seconds. What did we just learn? Sounds between 20 Hz and 20,000 Hz can be heard by the human ear. These are called audible sounds. The lowest frequency that the human ear can hear is 20 Hz. Sounds below 20 Hz are called infrasound. The highest frequency that the human ear can hear is 20,000 Hz. Frequencies higher than 20,000 Hz are called ultrasound. Bats and dogs can hear ultrasound. Bats use ultrasound to find their way in the dark. Even submarines use ultrasound in the same way. Ships use ultrasound to make maps of the ocean floor. Doctors use ultrasound to look at babies before they are born. If you like our videos, do share them and subscribe to our channel. If you want awesome quizzes, write to us. Keep watching and keep learning with Walnut.